Hello, guys, and welcome back to another episode of, uh, of course, uh, Commerce. And of course, today we are going to be looking at the factors that encouraged the growth of commerce in Nigeria. All right. And then, of course, uh, to end the class, I'm going to look at factors that are affecting the growth of commerce in Nigeria, likewise. Okay, this is the tutorial brought to you by the O3 Schools Jam app. It is all you need, like I said, to succeed in your exam. I'm not going to what blab too much about the app. All right. Your exam is a CBT exam. You need a good Jam CBT practice app like the O3 School Jam app to be able to ace maximum scores in your exam. The app has all the past questions that you need for your exam for all the subjects in one application. All right. And of course, that means you don't need to go and buy. Uh, English and three other subjects for 1,500 Naira each outside. So that means you spend a total of 6,000 Naira to accrue your past question for yourself. All right? The app, the whole of the app is just 3,000 Naira. And the app has textbooks inside in the classroom. All right? You can watch study lecture notes and then you can watch take tests according to the jam syllabus. You have to read according to jam syllabus. All right? It asks questions, search feature. You can search for question under any topic. And the question that jam has set under that topic will come out why for you to answer. What else? We also have, of course, the UTME challenge. It's a challenge that will conduct for all students that are writing jam for this year. You compete with your mates, you win prizes, you see your scores released every week. It's a mock challenge, so you see your, your score released every week. As you are seeing your jam score release, your jam mock score release every week. It's it's and you are you are, you are scoring higher every week. Every week challenge you are scoring higher. It will build your confidence now. So the app has all that, all for just three thousand naira. To activate, just click on activate after you have downloaded. At the top, you find buy activation key you see the options for payment all right you can if i'm making transfer it's a transfer method if i'm making transfer uh just send uh the the receipts to 091 all right so just send the receipt to that number on whatsapp or of course you can call if you want to activate call if you want to download the app call the app is also available for your computer so in case you don't you do not want to practice on your phone all right it's available for your computer system so let's go to why we are here today the factor that encourage the growth of commerce in nigeria because number one here they say development of modern means of communication all right so imagine someone that has uh, a farm in the bush all right and you, you are in the city town does not have what uh, a, a cell does not have a phone to work, call you okay how can you communicate to, to the supplier all right so you may, it's possible that before you will get to what where the goods are for some perishable goods you see that what some of the goods have already been wasted so development of modern means of communication as a lot helped what the it has affected positively the growth of commerce in what in Nigeria. All right, so because you can communicate to talk with the the producer and the consumer can communicate, they can talk anytime. All right, so business is what is easy. It makes business very very easy. All right, so that's what one of the what uh, the factors that encourage the growth of commerce in Nigeria. Then number two, the role of advertisement. Okay, so now. Through many mediums, you can well, do advertisement. Okay, social media is even there now, which is a very, is, which is a veritable tool in advertisement. So you can advertise your goods and your services, and people will be made aware of what you do. Okay, so it's that simple and what and that was easy. So the role of advertisement cannot be downplayed. Um, we are discussing the factors that what that affected the growth of commerce in Nigeria. So number three, development of modern means of transportation. Before now, okay, you use camels or what for transport. You you put cow on top of cars and be drawing them. All right, but now of course they are more efficient, more effective what uh, means of what of transportation, and this has helped what uh, uh, affect what the growth of commerce in our dear country. So uh, development of modern means of what of transportation. Of course, even the roads have not been done. Okay, so there are so many good roads. Although we are still praying that in our nation. We should continue. We should, stay, should keep working on our internal roads, all right, so that what we will have what road, easy road networks. Okay, so it's very important. So now let's see another factor. But for this development of modern technology in production, modern technology in production. In fact, most of the processes right that were done by what by humans being before has now been completely completely replaced by machines. So it's not very easy for work for production, and that's what has increased what productivity. Okay, so uh, development of modern technology in production is another very very important factor that has affected the growth of commerce in Nigeria. Also, we have emergence of specialization. Now, if you want to get something, you know where to go. Okay? If you want to get shoe, you know that, ah, this company does shoe, and let me just go there, let, me, let, them, let them take measurement, let them make my shoe. 
Okay, if you want to buy rice, ah, this rice, this people's rice is very okay. So specialization, people are what into different what things. People are into different things. So you know where where to go. So specialization has definitely helped for the growth of commerce in Nigeria. It's not one person doing everything now. All right. So you can actually what you have choices. You can choose from anyone you want, and so on and so forth, and the likes. So now. Six, development of insurance. Okay, like I said, insurance will boost the confidence of what? Of the what? Of the producer. Okay, because it's no longer scared. It's no longer scared because he knows that what? If anything happens, is what? It's backed by what? By insurance. All right? It's backed by insurance. The insurance company is working with, with definitely paying back whatever happens. So it's not scared. It's, it's not scared to what? To take what decisions. It's not scared to what? To, to produce. All right? Because he has, if I development or you see development of warehouse, he has a warehouse where he can store all those goods. Same what? when they are what needed or what to be bought okay by anyone all right so uh development of insurance of course is so very important also development of financial institutions because there's what low capital people have the business uh, the problem of what of low capital but there are not financial institutions that will give you loan and leave you alone is that true no <laughs> no financial institution will give you a loan and leave you alone no so, but of course, we have financial institutions that will loan you money and you pay interest on it, okay? So, the development of a financial institution are definitely what help the growth of commerce in Nigeria what also because you need you want to do what a big farming project, you want to do what, you want to build what a, a big company. That if, 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 you, if, you, if you give them, if you give them a very good, good deal, they will, they will support you, they will finance it for you. But it makes sense, of course, and it's going to what help the general populace. They will. All right, so, of course, development of financial institutions is also a very group of factor. Also, development of what of warehousing. So there are so many warehouses everywhere. Okay, where you can what store what things you can store what goods. Okay, to when they are needed. All right. So these factors. Okay, as what help to encourage the growth of commerce in Nigeria. So please, if you have not liked this video, uh, click on that like button right away. Now we're going to look at the factors affecting the growth. That uh, the factors affecting the growth. Factors affecting. Now, affecting the growth of commerce in Nigeria. Please, if you have not liked this video, just click on that like button right now, right now, all right? If you have not subscribed, click on the red subscribe button also because uh, that will send notification to your phone whenever we publish a new video. Because, uh, 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 and of course, subscription is free. I'm not paying to subscribe. To this channel so please you don't have any reason not to subscribe all right so keep subscribing keep sharing keep liking now let's look at what factors that affect the growth of what uh commerce in nigeria number one is insufficient capital just now we saw factors that affect that what that uh, uh that encourage growth to saw the development of financial institutions right so the, those financial institutions are actually there okay but most people do not have what capital they have insufficient capital that's why they, they usually go to those financial institutions and many of these businesses many of these people the the interest rate on what on the loans and on the what on the support they are giving to them is too much okay so most of them are not able to go in, go along with it they don't want to take the risk so insufficient capital right someone if i have money i prefer to use my money to do a business okay okay you if you have enough sufficient money you prefer to use part of that money to work, start a business for yourself you know that you are not under pressure okay but of course in the real business world you want to use people's money you want to use people's money for for business okay so that you'll be serious because if you use your money there's this uh, saying that you may be lackluster all right you may not be too serious okay but of course insufficient capital is one of the factors that's affecting the growth of commerce in nigeria also we have low level of saving low level of saving okay when the consumption rate is very high it's very very high we're not saving we're not saving you see that what we have what low funds for investment we have very small or little funds for what for investment so low level of savings also what another factor that's affecting the growth of commerce in nigeria low level of savings so we have low level of investment also low level of investment which is what almost directly what associated what to this okay because what there, there's no level of saving there will be low level of investment definitely right so we also have another factor that's number this okay that's number four now we have political instability all right all this change of government and of course another problem with this political instability in this our country is that yeah there's no continuity 
So this governor comes in, another one is coming, he wants to start another thing. He, he does not look at what that other person has done and how he can what help build on it. One president finishes, another one wants to start his own differently, different idea, different parties. Okay, too many pa political parties up and down. All right, so political instability and of course you see governance issues up and down, people fight, governors fighting each other, this one doing that one. Too many, many issues. So all those things are affecting the growth of command. In fact, the governor that's sitting down because of the too many troubles he's facing, he cannot even concentrate on the work he's supposed to do. So that is also one of the factors that's affecting the growth of commerce in Nigeria. Then number five, of course, we have absence of well-developed markets. Absence of well-developed markets. Okay, so... Absence of well developed market, there are no, there are no really well developed market where people can actually go and what and what and sell their goods. Okay, so government also actually what actually work on what on all our markets. Okay, we have what we have local governments. I don't know for crying out loud, we have local governments, we have wards. So there are so many markets everywhere, but they are not well developed, they are not well structured. Okay, so they have to we have, they have to what work on what on what. We have to have well-developed market because not having them is what affecting the growth of commerce in Nigeria. Also, we also have a poor transport and communication systems, poor transport and communication communication systems. Okay, so although there's improvement, we are, we are getting better, we will get there definitely. But of course, this is also affecting the growth of commerce in Nigeria, right? Poor, when a farmer was house boost, but then he cannot, be, he cannot transport it from where he has produced it to, do, to the final consumer. Then they get on what having what issues, spoiling. Like you see some people coming from the north with what, with tomatoes, okay? Because of bad roads, they are not able to get to what, to where they are supposed to go to. So they spend days on, on the what, on the highway, and then you see that what a lot of them what, have perished. Okay, so please, this is also another factor that's affecting the growth of commerce in Nigeria. So look at look at one last one, which is what predominance of primary production. Predominance of primary production. So in this condition, yeah. In this condition here, yeah, we, we, we carry out extraction services, okay? Like what well, we do mining, we do different what uh, type of vegetable, but we do not have factories themselves that what that produce what things with this what with this thing that what that we extract. Okay, so so, so many mining activities are going on, right? But we do know do you know that there, there are, there's gold in this country? There's gold in this country, but we do not have factories that will that will refine this gold, turn it to something else that will generate funds. So we don't prefer to just extract and just sell. Like crude oil now, for example, we what we drill, we drill crude oil. What we don't do is just to sell. We do not have any refinery that is functional in Nigeria. The only one that is the safe functional is the Dangote refinery, which will soon open, or if it has soon open. Okay, but that is that for that. We should, this country has big as it is, and the history that we have had. We are not supposed to be talking about refining is supposed to be our problem at this point. All right. So um, these are what the issues, these are the factors that are affecting the growth of commerce in Nigeria. All right. So I uh, will look at the factors that I encourage, we'll look at the factors that's affecting. All right. So this is where we're going to stop in this place. Please like this video, subscribe to this channel, keep sharing, download the OTD School Jump app, start what studying what past questions, start reading questions vigorously, start taking reading your lecture notes from the classroom. And of course, you'll see that what you are doing very well for yourself. I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching.